Well, I'm starting every vlog with this head too. Oh, which vlog is this? Number seven. Is it vlog number seven? Vlog number seven. About to go to heaven. It is. I think it's number seven. So Ashley's doing her makeup. Guess what? Today's vlog is about accepting people by who and what they are. So. In honor of acceptance, I'm not putting on no makeup. First of all, the devil's been breathing outside real heavy all day. It's hot. <laughs> I don't have no makeup. Well, I got me a little concealer. It's cute, though. They ain't gonna talk about me. Look at these people. So today's vlog really is about accepting people for who and what they are. When people show you who they are, believe them. Believe them. Thank you, Maya Angelou. And sometimes you find out people are a totally different beast than you really thought. You ever been surprised by somebody? Like, oh Yeah, I have been surprised by a lot of people. Now, in my adult life, I ain't surprised by nobody. If Ashley turned up tomorrow and she purple, I'd be like, she been purple the whole time. You crazy. But in my youth, when people would show me the truth, it would hurt my feelings. And I don't think I'm affected by much now. So you ain't gonna put on no lipstick in my Nope. Okay. Y'all can talk about me. One thing you ain't gonna talk about is this melanin getting to her because it's popping. Now, right. let's go. Mm -hmm. Ashen, what is accepting people for who and what they are? What is that? Well, why did Ashen put it in the breath mint? Like, y'all can smell breath. I'm not putting in the breath mint. What are you putting in the Oh, she has kept the spray. Because they're gonna accept me. <laughs> <laughs> She's taking us to the too. next level. So tell me, what is accepting people for who and what they are? Get over here so the people can Sorry, I just had to put that stuff up in my purse. Mm -hmm. What I think it is, is just accepting people for who they are. Uh, it's very clear. It's very cut and dry. Mm -hmm. If I have an attitude today, I'm not telling you you have to accept it, but you should be able to embrace it because... One day you may have an attitude and you might want me to accept you. You know, and a lot of times we do that. It's like, oh, she had a bad attitude today. I don't want to mess with her no more. But I'm pretty sure you have some of those days where you cop an attitude or you just don't feel like dealing with the world. Yeah. You don't feel like dealing with nobody. You don't feel like hearing nobody crap. So you need to extend the mercy mm -hmm. that you want to obtain. Oh, that's good. I had an epiphany the other day. The other day, yesterday, before mm -hmm. church. So, we know I'm in a relationship because I'm talking about it. So, I had an epiphany and I said to myself, so I know that I love um, my boyfriend. I know that I'm in love with him. I know that I accept him for who he is and I accept him for what he's going to be. But I thought to myself, do you put more energy into accepting who he's going to be? Or do you accept is. who he is now? Because people, it's easy to fall in love, fall in life, be attracted to or infatuated with potential. And you can't. Because what if that person never changes? Or what if, yeah, and what if they never utilize the potential that you see in them? Yeah. And another thing is, I just had a brain freeze. Come back. And it was there. It was. <laughs> well, why your brain is all out? Yeah, I, 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 just I talk about a, something else. So I had another thought. Um, when it comes to you, you accept people. I, I said that to him. I said I owe you an apology, and he said why? I said because I think that I'm more accepting of your potential than I am who you are right now. Now, if you know my boyfriend, you know that he's very man. <laughs> Total opposite. <laughs> he is like man. I don't care. A very cutthroat, like he serves himself on the platter. Like I've never met a person like this that does not change. A quarter, he could be the happiest person in the world. He's gonna look like this. That's his happiness. And that's face. another thing. These preconceived notions of what a person is. Uh, if I smile all the time, does that make me happy? Yeah. If I smile all the time, does, does that make, make me sad? Yeah. Or make me mad? No. It just yeah. Yeah, like it he doesn't. Said, it's automatic to but assume see, it's, he's it's a, it's a thing. It's a thing because we've been told that if a person smiles, that they're happy. They're happy. Yeah, and if they're I know a lot of people that smile on a regular basis and they're living yeah, not the best not life. Happy, they're yeah. living the worst life. Yeah, I had to. I said, I think I accept. I think and I they can be really, really genuinely happy and yeah. not show 
no type of emotion. But that's what they're doing. I told them, I thought to myself, what if you never change? Can I accept this? person and, and you and know what love co- covers a multitude of sin mm-hmm. and not to say like it's a sin to not show emotion or whatever but it will allow you to dig deeper yeah than then to what you see yeah because sometimes you see the love don't cover you that's why you have to accept people for who and what they are i've i've learned so many times in life action i was just talking before uh we started taping that her whole life people been saying yeah, I have, yeah, I mean, she I have an attitude. Got an attitude. But in my head, when I'm saying things, it's like it's the truth, mm-hmm. and then my truth can be harmful to somebody, mm-hmm. or it can be harsh. So I do on a daily basis. I, I do take into consideration that I could be a little harsh, that I could say things better, and I think I've done a great job with, you yeah. know, coming into myself as a mature woman. And knowing when to say things and when and not, not to, to say, say them. Things, yeah. Knowing when to hold them and knowing when to fold. You yeah. gotta know. Because just because you can doesn't don't mean, doesn't make it right. Yeah, because I'm extremely whole life, you're extremely sensitive. You wear your feelings on your shoulder, you're a crybaby. And I had to accept that. I'm like, I am an extremely sensitive person. And if you know me, you know I'm also And a lot of people wouldn't think that about me. I'm very sensitive. Very but because I'm vocal, yeah. it wouldn't seem like that or you know more so I can have a tone yeah. that will make you think that oh she don't nothing bother her but that's a lie. Yeah. Or Things people, bother me. Or people think I'm weak. I'm too sensitive. Right. But when you catch me on the right day. But I had to first thing about acceptance is you gotta accept you exactly. for, for who you are. Exactly. You gotta show your cards. This is the real me. You can't have an expectation for people to and you're not even willing to show who and you are. You're not even so how do how do I accept you? How do you accept me? And then how do we not get our feelings hurt in the long run? We be honest. But you know, sometimes I think we worry too much about the feelings yeah. thing. It's like we're human. You, every day is not gonna be sunshine, and walk rainbows. outside, it's rainbows and skittles coming out the sky. You have to realize that some real life situations are gonna hit you and some real life situations are gonna hit you hard. Mm-hmm. Everything is not gonna be like, you know, just Rainbows, floating yeah. and you know, on cloud nine. Sometimes life comes to teach you some lessons and they are hard lessons. And they change you. Yeah. And you have to accept That's it. That's why I say, you know, you, you, you come across one, two, ten people mm-hmm. and they say, oh, you could have said that better. You, you could have did that better. You could have maneuvered this way or whatever. And then you start to think, you know what? It ain't just them. Yeah, it, it's got to be something with me. So it's time to do some self a self check, yeah. self analyzing. Like, what what could I do better so that I'm I'm perceived or I'm taken to be the person that I, I feel that I yeah. really am. Yeah, it's that I think acceptance, especially for people and for yourself, requires vulnerability. Yeah, you gotta you be have vulnerable. To be. You, you, and that's not telling your whole life story. Yeah, it's not. Uh, oh, I had to slap this lady today. It's not all of that. You don't have to do all of that. But it's just saying, hey, today I had a messed up day. Mm-hmm. Today I didn't feel so well. And I may have come across, you know, rude to a couple of people. And mm-hmm. I didn't want to come across that yeah. way. But this is how this made me feel. So this was my reaction. Yeah, and that's a mature thing because, like, I, I find myself so many times in conversations uh, with David where I go, like, wait a minute, no, 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 it's not you, it's me, it's me. And he thinks I'm like, okay, I know you're just saying that. No, I'm I'm acknowledging, this is me. This mm-hmm. is this is sensitive Deidre. This right, is right. crybaby Deidre. This is Deidre that overthinks. This is Deidre that over... And, you know, and because I can do that for myself, one thing you got to know is just because you accept who you are, it doesn't mean that people accept who they are yeah. or they're not going to accept who, who you, you are. are. Mm-hmm. And some people don't accept who, are, who they are. Some people can't accept the fact that they're a mean person. Some people can't accept the fact that they are liars. They are liars. Or, or they're whatever. Bitter, and, they, and they do these things. They're in these cycles. And when you highlight them mm-hmm. and you say, yo, like me, I think I'm the friend that may pick apart little things that people may not like. I tell Lisa, I say, you know, you have a list or little things like that that yeah. people might, you know, some people will accept it, and some people will be like, God, she nitpicks about yeah. everything, or she anal- she over analyzes everything, everything. Yeah. or she's very observant. Yeah, because that's just the type of person that I am. Mm-hmm. And with my friends, more than anything, yeah. I'm gonna say, hey, you know, you told 
me this, but you ain't follow suit with that. So that you a liar. Yeah. You know, and I'm the type of person I'm gonna say something about it because if I'm gonna continue to be around you and have you in my presence in my personal space, yeah. I think I should be able to tell you. Yeah. That. Yeah. But you need yeah. people to. For one thing about me that I had to learn, I used to tell Asher that. My aunts will always tell me, like, you're a very stubborn person. I'm like, I don't know why they think that. I'm not stubborn. The truth but be told, it I'm is. a very stubborn person. <laughs> you can literally, you oh, can literally man. be like, DJ, don't do that. And I'm going to go, okay. I'm going to collect, really collect information. Because she's going to want to find out <laughs> what? for herself. I'm going to find out. I've been there Listen. several times. No, 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 shut up. <laughs> Let me say, I done been there what do I not do this, please. And then she'd be like, you know what you told me. God. And you know, you know what happens to me though? I am I am a soul searching per I go I get too deep sometimes. Mm-hmm. See, acceptance. I sometimes the surface don't make sense to me. Yeah, so you gotta go. So I have to go. But I do that sometimes, yeah. but I do I've learned how to maneuver in such a way that the person that I'm doing it to or the thing that I'm doing it to won't even know that they're being manipulated. Uh, only certain things. Certain things, I have to go, eh, let me cut. Because, see, I'm going to do all my work. Yeah. I'm going to do all my work, but I'm going to be like, Inspector Gadget. <laughs> <laughs> but you had to accept that. Yeah. Because, see, I'm a strategic person. So, I now, in my stubbornness, in my defense, it takes me a long time to reveal that I'm being stubborn. Mm-hmm. I, I'm but a magician. Half, but half the time, I be knowing. I know. I, I should be like, Deidre, I know you did it. Do not. And I'm like, I won't. And then she'd be like, no. You didn't say you won't do it ever. You just said you won't do it today. I'm she like, was already half of the time. She's already And you know it. what I had to accept in my sensitivity? That I'm a very honest person. Mm-hmm. And if I do something, to a fault, you guys. It's it's honestly it's beautiful, but to a fault. Yes. If I'm wrong or something, I'm a sucker. She can't up. live with it. Though. I can she's not. not she's my not. conscience is yeah. like, and and I'm so much of a person like that that I'm gonna reveal it to you. If somebody be like, oh, I don't know, you might do me dirty. I'm gonna say, listen, I'm gonna tell you a secret. My conscience is so heavy. If I do something to you, nine times out of ten, I'm, I'm gonna come tell you. Mm-hmm. That's who I am. But that's who I am, and I I can't project that. On everybody. Right. I had to when I got into my relationship. And oh, this is when I had a brain freeze. I was gonna say you have to give people room forever. Yeah. I I've said that to Deidre before. I, I this is something I had to learn. Yeah. We are not robots. robots. Yeah. We are not robots. We make mistakes on a daily basis. Seeing that we make mistakes on a daily basis, we cannot cannot be like oh, okay. We just throw everybody away when they make the first mistake. It's like the first time I said no. It's like I never said yes yeah. before. But why do we do that? When we want mercy, we're going to need mercy for things. Yes. We're going to need some, pull out some forgiveness, mm-hmm. little, you know, compartments, wherever they are, whether, wherever they may be. Because you never know what the day holds, and the next day holds. People get amnesia when they have to accept the truth. Oh, yeah. People get me. And they want to throw you away as soon as you tell them something. Hey, I messed up. I'm coming to you to tell you that I messed up. How could you not respect the person? Now, it's some people when they mess up, they want to hurt you with yeah. the truth. Now, yeah. that's the difference. You know if something is going to destroy. I'm talking about this could be like a life or death situation. This is going to destroy a person. You have to be very tactful mm-hmm. on how you want to be honest. And how you want to be forgiven. And then you have to accept their reaction. Whatever. Yeah. Whatever you do, it's a cause and effect. Whatever you tell somebody, you got to prepare yourself. And you really can't prepare yourself. You just got to say, you yeah, know, here am I. I, I. I came to you. I'm being honest. You know, whatever whatever the consequence is, you're going to have to eat that. You're yeah. going to have to put on your big girl panties and, and your, your big boy your jokes. How do, you, so, how do you in... I could say one happy thing of acceptance um, is in intimate relationships. You're married. I mean, I have a boyfriend. In relationships like that, how important is acceptance? Because I said this um, to David yesterday. I said it's very easy to say I accept you for who you are, and then I I sift through the flaws 
that are okay with me. And you highlight the and flaws. And I highlight yes. the flaws and then you, you, you highlight the flaws and you only highlight those flaws because you know those flaws can be fixed by cultivating. You, you, you can nurture a person, but the truth is you ain't nobody mama, you ain't nobody daddy. Right, right. And if the, and if a person is not in a position, one thing that you'll learn from pottery, it does not matter how you shape the pot. As soon as you do something in the wrong way, it's gonna your move. entire creation yeah. will unravel. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So, um, it's a flow. Yeah, it's a flow. Um, I think the thing with acceptance is this, especially in an intimate relationship, you want to be with something. Yeah, you want to be with somebody that accepts you. That's even with our friendship. I want yeah. you to accept me and for I want who you I to accept am. Me, yeah. And however I am. Yeah. In my messiest state, in my in my most vulnerable state, I want you to accept me because. I love you and I want you to love me in my mess my most messed up way. Yeah. The hard part is is when you ask somebody to love you in the most messed up way for them to not see you like the that. Messed up way. Yeah, for them yeah. to not see you like that and then it'd be like, Well damn, is she gonna be like this yeah. all the time? Is, is this is this a state? Yeah. You know? And then now, do I want her to see me like this because I'm a little uncomfortable with, with seeing, seeing her, her like this, yeah. in her most messed up state, but that's what love is all about. Yeah. You, it's so many twists and turns, yeah. but it's so, it can be so beautiful because it's like this person is letting you see Everything them naked. Flaw. flaw. You yeah, know? yeah, flaws and all. Even in, in friendships, we have gone through both of us having a bunch of money to us having no Nothing. money. Yeah. We've gone to, through both of us having houses to yeah. both of us living with family yeah, members. Exactly. To nice cars to like, I don't have nothing. Mm -hmm. No jobs, just to all we have is this music. We've gone through those things. I think in our friendship, we've had like one major fight. And it was a, it was right. a fight. It was something it was that would break most friendships mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. But as soon as it happened, hey, I forgive you. I don't believe you. You'll see. I forgive you. We'll, we'll get through it. Because explain it. And it, it went like this. Explain it to me. This is what happened. I accept it. I forgive you. You sure? I do. Right. And it, did it come back up? Yeah. It came. It comes back up because you're human. Because now when something happens, it's an alert. But, when but you, the thing about it was, and I think both of us recognize this, it's not, all, it's not about being right all the time. Mm -hmm. And even, even in this situation where maybe one person was wrong, one person was right, it's about saying, you know what? I'm sorry. Yeah. Because you value the person. Yeah. And you could be dead wrong or you could be dead right. But sometimes saying I'm sorry can just show that person that you value them enough to... You're so working right it out, now, but you want to write it. Yeah. You want to write the wrong, yeah. whatever it is. People like to treat acceptance like a superpower. Like, if you came to me and said, uh, uh, Deidre, oh, I know, this is a perfect thing. Asher has never smoked or drank a day in her life. Mm -hmm. So, I went through a period where I was smoking. Like I said, I'm very transparent when things hold on to me. I was smoking weed. I was smoking black and mouths. I was. It, it calmed me. I didn't want to emotionally eat. So I was smoking. It didn't occur to me, go work out, go read your Bible, go write in your journal. It was in front of me, I did it. I, and one day, I, I just remember her talking about it and I said, so I have to tell you something that I didn't want to tell you. Mm -hmm. Why? I said, because it's been going on for a long time. You never smell it on me. You never see me do it. I've never been in your presence in an altered state. So I, I said, she was like, I hate, I've been in the room, I hate smoking, I hate what it smells like, I don't like it, it makes me sick to my stomach. This is my best friend, we've been best friends for a while. Mm -hmm. So I finally said, Ashley, you know, I smoke. She was kind of like, hmm. She literally did like this, hmm. I hope you stop. I said, you're not, you're not upset, you're not mad, I said, and then me, what about your medicine? If I said, I think I'm addicted to it. I don't know if I could give it up. It used to be one black, but now it's like two or three blacks. I don't smoke anymore, guys. But it's like two or three blacks. And, and sometimes I smoke a little weed. I like a little hookah. 
I'm, I'm piling it on because you know you want to test the acceptance because people like to think acceptance is a a, is crazy. a magic it's a magic show. Oh, she accepted me. I transformed into a butterfly. That shit's a lie. Asher accepted me. I said, okay, it didn't do nothing for me. Sometimes you want people to accept you so bad because you think, oh, if they accept this piece of information, it'll free me from what I feel. That's not it. Acceptance is a choice. Yeah, you, it really is. You choose to accept that. She accepted me when I was just over there doing a puff so puff blast. <laughs> when I was born and raised in the county and thing. But it was, it, it was a part. It was something that I had to do. I didn't know how she was going to feel because I knew the deeper rooted reasons as to why. But what if one day I couldn't hide that anymore? Right. What if one day I got I just, so... Now that would have shocked me. And I was like, Whoa, what are like, you doing? Yeah. We, we were together all the time. And this is something that you could have talked to me about yeah. because you... Sometimes it's hard for you to pray for yourself. Mm -hmm. I've been in, been in a position where like I just couldn't pray for myself. Yeah. So it's always good to have somebody that you can talk to that can pray for you mm -hmm. when you're at your weakest. Um, can talk to you when you're at your weakest. Um, Not judge you. Yeah. And when when you're low, you don't need judgment in your mm -hmm. your atmosphere because you're trying to come out of something. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. like me pouring water on a drowning man. That's not going to help you yeah. swim to the top. That's that's helping you go yeah. deeper. Yeah. So I try to be the person that say, okay, there's, there's an underlining mm -hmm. and then there's layers to this. She's not just doing this because she want to do it because this is not it's the not person her. she yeah. is. I don't so, have an addictive spirit. spirit. Yeah. I'm literally one of those people like, I don't And so that was anymore. my first thing like, hey, Okay. Yeah. It's it's something going on. It's it's some unhappiness there. It's it's something some kind of grief or something yeah. she's trying to swim through, trying to get through or whatever. So let me be let me be cool. Yeah. And let me let me take this step by step with her so that she won't feel like, man, I should have said that to her yeah. because then that don't that doesn't give room for the next thing that yeah. she might have to tell me. Cuz you and you literally you accepted it from me. Because I wasn't accepting it for myself because I already know I don't have an addictive, you know. So once it became, once I found myself buying blacks or wanting to smoke weed or whatever I was doing, once I found myself doing that, I was like, I don't, I don't accept this about my, about myself. Like something's wrong. I need to talk to somebody who, who do I tell to help me? And I was like, I got to tell somebody that's going to be blunt. That's going to say, well, you know you shouldn't be doing that. Right. And I told her, and I, I expected her to be like, that's disgusting. You're a singer. What are you doing? What about... She literally was like, so what do you want? Why do you do it? What do you want it? I said, I don't know. It helps me not to emotionally eat, or it helps me do this, and it gives me this, and I feel like this. And then immediately, I felt a sense of like relief because the one person in my life that I knew was so disgusted. It's acceptance, but I had to go, that's not going to transform you. Once somebody accepts something from you, about you, who you are, what you do, you take that information and you go, okay, they've accepted it. I have to accept it. Now, what do I do with the acceptance? Acceptance is a gift, in, in my it really personal is. opinion. It, it definitely yeah. is, because everybody has it. Yeah. Everybody doesn't obtain it, and everybody, you know, everybody doesn't get to the point where they really have acceptance of themselves yeah. because that's why you have a lot of people that commit suicide. Yeah. You have a lot of people that get into these dark, dark spaces yeah. because they haven't come it's, to mm -hmm. the point where they can say, you know what, this is me. This is yeah. who I am. And if they love me, they love me. If they hate me, they hate mm -hmm. me. But this is me. I love me. That's why I love that thing where that little girl said, I like me. Yeah. It's so, that thing did something to my spirit. When I used to see it pop up on my screen and that little girl I'm like this little girl don't even know what she's saying yeah when you learn to like, like and your love yourself everything else will follow suit yeah. and the things that people dread or think they're horrible about you you'll learn to love yeah. about yourself and the things that you hate about yourself that you know you need to get right that part of you the accepting part of you will accept it and then it will change yeah. and you'll stop giving people the choice yeah. to accept it or not. Sometimes mm -hmm. we give people the choice to accept something that has nothing, nothing to, to do, do with them. Yeah. That this had, and, and once you look back on it, it's like, that had nothing to do with you. 
That should have been something. Because one thing my father taught me, very smart man, my um, people are like, you know, people are like squirrels, Deidre. Uh, um, every time you give them a bit of information, they collect they, those yeah, nuts. And, and they, yeah, and they come, they're, they're going to be picking for something else. Stuff them in and the they're going to store them. Yeah. yeah. And then at, when the time is right, they, they crack them. them. Yeah. Crack the nut, yeah. and you sitting there like, yo, I um, I gave you that that nut for the winter. Right. Now you 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 open it up. Like we in the summertime, what you do? What you doing with it? You mm -hmm. know. And people are like, well, hey, I mean, you told me, and I I, I just want you to feel like I'm here. People will use. Uh, people are manipulators. They'll get all the, and watch the people that always want to listen. Yeah, they always want to listen. Yeah, and they ain't offering nothing, no kind of information about themselves or whatever. And not to say that you gotta open up your whole book of life, mm -hmm. um, to make somebody feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. But I can't know nothing about you. Yeah, that's a problem. You're not a person that I want to tell yeah, my yeah, business yeah. to Cause or be around. Because people will create a safe space for you to trap you. Yeah. The they real will. truth, the real truth about acceptance is some people only accept you for the moment mm -hmm. so that they have what they need to tear you down. Not only do you have to accept yourself and accept people for who they are, you have to watch who you want to accept. You. Exactly. Everybody ain't supposed yeah. Every, to accept. And everybody you. don't deserve to accept. You. Yeah. Everybody some don't, don't deserve, deserve to know you. your your area hmm. and your personal space in your life. And you gotta know. What the what the giveaway, Mama? And, and, and what the key? key? And you gotta accept it. Mm -hmm. You you gotta look at a person and go, Oh, I can't have you around. I, and it's it's a thing that I do with friends too. It's some people I'm not going to the mall with you. You my friend, but, but you I know you no. gotta keep your hands clapping. You skip a beat. <laughs> you don't pick something up. Yep. And it's some friends I can't. I can't enter. What is it called? Intermingle. Yeah. Intermingle with my other friends because. You don't know what to say out of your mouth. Yeah. I may accept that, but somebody else, and I don't want you to feel no kind of way when you come around these people that I know they won't they be accepting like that. Because yeah. really, I'm covering you because then you, you get the beat down and then I got to jump in. He's my friend. It's like, it's like when people say, don't eat out of everybody's kitchen. It's true. Because everybody don't cook their food. They don't clean they the don't same clean way. Mm -hmm. They don't clean their food. And you be mad because the food be smelling good, but then you look in the corner and it's the sink full of dishes. How did you cook that with, with those dishes, dishes over there? Yeah. I won't accept this. We out. And I don't see no lemon juice and no lemon juice. Y'all don't clean it. Y'all over there doing the, um, I'm not going to say what, which body of people do this, but y'all over there not cleaning y'all chicken. Uh-uh. Y'all ain't cleaning y'all chicken. No y'all no just no. serving. Y'all ain't cleaning y'all chicken. Get it? You accepting. You not filtering. Right. You serving. You ain't cleaning your chicken. <laughs> oh, I'm doing a shot, God. I hope y'all accept me with this shine. They accept you, friend. I accept you. It Thank doesn't you, matter friend. what they think. They getting all this. <laughs> I know y'all love it. Oh, we have 20 minutes. So we can close. So we can close. Okay. You want to learn about the little third? Yes. Okay. We whispering like y'all can't hear us, but we know y'all can hear us. So, quick tea. Blog number seven. Thank y'all for seven. joining us. Yes, like, share, subscribe, mm -hmm. comment, tell us what you like, what y'all want to hear about, uh, what topics y'all want to hear us talk about. And, and get ready for the live vlog. Get ready for the live vlog. It is. It's coming. I think it's going to be vlog number 10. What do you think? Should we wait till 10? You want to do 10? We can do vlog number 10 because we're on seven. We'll be live. Yeah. We'll so we're going to go live, live on vlog. Should we tell them what it is? So no, 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 no. Okay, okay. okay. We're going to wait. I, I don't know. We might get shirts, man. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. yeah, All right, it's 28. We, we ain't we got to join it out. <laughs> well, we love y'all. We thank y'all. We began some cool feedback from you. Thanks thank y'all for, for watching every week. Yeah, and we, the raw. And we've gotten so many people. It's like, yo, these vlogs are helpful. We're just going to keep doing right. what we doing. How and we, we doing. really, really love y'all. We, we we, we're grateful for you guys, and we hope. That you continue to watch. Mm -hmm. And know, really know that this is authentic. It. Yes. It's authentic. It's a friendship. And yeah, I mean, we're done. 